All right, we've, we've, we've uh, gotten a little help here, have we, Boris and Bernstein, because we always need it. I, I don't know. It just says surprise guest. I, I don't I don't know mm. the help, mm. help or not, so I'm going to punch up the surprise guest. Hello, guest. Uh, is that me? Yes. Hey, uh, Terry, it's Rusty. Oh, my God. Really? God bless your heart. I gave, I gave Matt the, the secret code word. So this would be the Rusty from Stickney, Rusty from Stickney, who became yeah. Rusty from Jacksonville. But where are you now, Rusty? Oh, I'm in Cincinnati. <laughs> and what are you doing in Cincinnati, my friend? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you what I what I tell other people. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you what I really do. Okay. I tell people. Boris tells me I should say I'm from. I'm in the financial industry. Mm-hmm. But what I really, I, I, I am, I'm in charge of the group of the people that empty the garbage cans in a, uh, and we do the maintenance in an office building that oh. does some financial industry. Okay. <laughs> so, but I, what I do, I tell, uh, I don't, I don't clean the bathrooms. Okay. I do, I, uh, that's what, because I got seniority now, but I, I used to. Well, how long have you been in Cincinnati? Ah, I've been in there. I've been in Cincinnati for about about five years now. Uh, dare I ask why you left Jacksonville? Because if I remember, you were working as some kind of like a superintendent at a at a trailer facility mm-hmm. in Jacksonville, yeah. right? Dan, you got a good memory. Uh, yeah, um, Boris and I we uh, were partners in crime, and um, Boris. He's real good with the ladies, so he got a little – things got a little too hot, he said. So he – one day I was uh, I was just playing Nintendo, and he said, uh, Rusty, we it's getting too hot down here. We got to get out of here. But, uh, but you, maybe but you he don't know exactly it, what happened? Uh, I think it involved a married woman and, a, and an unhappy uh, – and an unhappy groom. Mm. Oh, oh well, okay. I don't know. I'm speculating. Uh, he didn't. I. There's. He's. He's a busy guy too. We. Uh, we cross paths once in a while. We just share a. We share a nice house. Um, it's good to talk to you guys. By the way. Well, good to hear um, from you. You've been. You've been such a stranger. We're just trying to catch up with you a little bit. But uh, well, the more they, they change, it's hard to say the same because as long as Boris is long, there's always going to be a little trouble, isn't there? He's. Uh, he looks out for me. Yeah, does, but um, but it does seem as though he's just um, he's just real popular. <laughs> okay, he's real popular. I get it. But but I'll tell you something. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you something. Cincinnati is not a well. Jacksonville wasn't a, when I moved down there. I thought that was going to be very tropical, and it, it turned out it wasn't. Cincinnati, uh, it's got its perks. It has its perk. It has a lot of breweries. Right. I'll say that much. Well, so does Chicago. Guys, I mean, there's a lot of breweries I'm, here. I'd like to get back there sometime. I will say this, and I'm going to have to apologize because um, usually I like to have a couple beers before I go into work, and I'm getting ready for work right now. Mm-hmm. But the way they the way they make these beers now, um, I know usually I can have about four, three, four, maybe six. And I'm gonna still be okay for work. I'm. Uh, you get. The, you get. I had. I only had two, and I'm not. I don't feel like I'm my best. I feel like I'm. I'm almost no, inebriated right now. Well, they do have the alcohol content, the, the percentage on most of the labels, right? Oh, this thing. Yeah, check it out well, because some of those beers are. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, some will get I you quick. Believe me. No, I think I had something called a snowstorm. It was called a snowstorm. Snowstorm. It's a brewery. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I can't even keep track. But what? <laughs> um, let's catch up. What's uh, what's going on, guys? Um, I so I um, like I said, I'm not a. I had a slip and fall, uh, so I'm doing good in the, in the money department. I oh. won't say that much. Wow. I'm happy. I, I can't, so don't don't you worry about me. Was, was there was a, settle, a legal settlement of some kind? or? Uh, yeah. Um, so usually, 
usually I try to slip and fall. This time I didn't, and it ended up paying off. I it was a legitimate. So um, I made a. Uh, Boris watches out for the money. He handles the money, and um, but this. Listen to this. I bought into something, and I caught. I got caught up in a uh, in a scam. Oh. Yeah, I didn't lose all of it. Don't worry. But that's the reason why Boris look, handles the money. That's a good idea. Um, I bought into a business, a Ponzi, but it turned out to be a Ponzi scheme. Mm. Well, that that's a shame. Now, how are we doing on time? Well, why? Well, I'm I'm worried about you guys. I know you guys always have these uh, updates. Well, well we, we already did it. Yeah, we're, we did it. We, we're, we're good. We're good. All right. We're good. We're just catching up oh, with man, you. Oh, and do you remember Joyce? Joyce, the the older lady, the old, yeah. yes, oh. who was in your life. Mm-hmm. Well, guess who reappeared after I ma- after I got my windfall. Joyce, Joyce, yes. Joyce did. Yep. Yeah, Joyce and Ronaldo, her <laughs> son, who didn't like you and you didn't like him. And he didn't right. The, and he had a mustache and he was thirteen <laughs> years old. And but time flies, and he's twenty now. And wow. uh, yeah, he. You'd think a 20-year-old would want to get on with his life and make something of himself. Nope. He's trying. She's trying to say that one of her kids is mine. That kid was already born before I even met her. <laughs> so so she's back looking for, for a, a payday of some kind. But she's got such a lovely rump roast. It's very appealing, I will have to admit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's sort, of, that's sort of life as we know well, it. There's got to be a reason for everything. Yep. Gotta but be a I reason. will say this, this much. So I, the, the, the business I invested in, and I didn't realize that clowns are very much not appreciated these days. I'm at a, I was at a birthday party, okay? And um, the birthday, they had a clown there. And um, I, I've always wanted to get into the, into the arts. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I was talking to the clown. His name was Tickles. Mm-hmm. Tickles the Clown. And um, he was. He said he was retiring. So I said, "Hey, what about I take your name? I'll buy all the makeup from you. I'll buy all the gadgets he got. He had a he had a box of kites mm-hmm. that he threw in, and a box of blue ribbons. Just that, for, just for just threw threw that in too. And I'm not going to say how much I invested." But I thought, I'd, hey, I put on the makeup. Nobody know the difference. I'm Tickles the Clown now. Okay. Well, did you realize that clowns these days don't, they just, nobody, it doesn't seem like they have the same sort of appeal. No, f- can people are No, right, because there, there were appearances of creepy clowns that were yeah. that were freaking people out. Yeah, they're, 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 they're kind of creepy, and they kind of, you know, not only us, because I always had a little bit of that, uh, Rusty, but now, after this last Halloween, they were creeping people out from coast to coast with this well, stuff. I almost got, I dressed up in my clown uniform, I almost got beat up a couple of times. Not and surprised. And I didn't do anything. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I didn't do anything. So... This guy who sold me his business, he didn't tell me what's going on. I yeah, no it's idea. going on. Yeah, I got to be careful. Mm-hmm. I was persecuted from as being a clown. So but Boris, from that point on, Boris basically just told me that he's. Uh, he said, "Rusty, I'm gonna handle the finances, and um, I'm all right with that." Well, it's it sounds like everything is good enough yeah. in, in your world that you you got your health and you you've got your lady back in your life. So I, I would say no, well, no, you don't. I don't want her back in my life. But you That's said you like thing. her. But you like the rump roast. I don't think he wants the rest after, of it. That's after that's after about six beers. I want the rump roast. Okay. <laughs> I I don't always have six beers in me. All right, or maybe a couple of snowstorms. <laughs> and you do the trick. Hey, t- Terry, can I ask uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. The, now I know you know a lot about racing. Mm-hmm. And the horse I, with the horses. Now the dog racing. Yeah. Does it does, does it always have to be a greyhound? Because because uh, I have a dog who's very fast, but he is not a gray a greyhound. Could I get him into a race and have? 
if he's fast and not have him be a greyhound. No. Now, unless you do it with your friends or something, but no, not at a, not at a racetrack. Not at, uh, there are only a few left at Rusty. A lot of them closed down across the country, and the ones who are still open are still threatening to, but no, they're greyhounds. He can't be as fast as a greyhound. That's fast, those things. Oh, I tell you what, I, I, I'd I love to race him against somebody, somebody else's greyhound. I'd put Bert up. I'd put Bert up against anybody. Well, what is what is Bert? What what breed? He's cocker spaniel. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Bert I... the cocker spaniel against a greyhound. Yes, but he's got good genes in him. He's a blue blood. Okay, <laughs> oh. him and Tom Selleck. <laughs> I I um I. <sighs> Uh, no, that's a tough go, my friend. They're all racing greyhounds. What, what's left of them? But they've been gradually across the country, closing down or thinking about it. So uh, I would, if, um, I wouldn't. No, no, and I don't. Yeah, I, I don't doubt your dog is fast, but trust me on that track, the way they do it, he, he's he, no, no, don't right. do that. I trust, I trust you. No, they don't. Hey, do we'll that. have to talk about some uh, this Giancano kid they got. The Gian, Sam, uh, is it Giancano's kid? That's. Um, White Sox? No, they, they they made a trade. Giolito, Giolito, the pitcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lu- Lu- yeah. Lucas Giolito. Yes, we'll we'll have to put that on our on our, our docket to discuss sometime. To do list. Yeah, I will. I will tell you this, that Rusty. It is it is wonderful to it hear really from is. you. I'm glad to hear that you're you're healthy. I think people who have listened to this show for a long time will asked always always have have asked about you. Will always have a special place. You will have a special place in their heart. So I I will uh, continue to be well and stay away from that skyline chili. It's overrated. Correct. It is. You're yes. absolutely right, we, my friend. We agree on that. I'm, All right, Rusty, great to hear from you. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that everything is uh, settled in and you're not quite settled in all the way. But I, you wouldn't be Rusty unless there's something going on. So we appreciate it, my friend, and good luck, okay? Good luck. All I, right. I need it. You all got right. it. Rusty from Stickney from Jacksonville and now Cincinnati. in Cincinnati. And I, that doesn't sound like a Ponzi scheme. That he, that it just sounded like a, a, a guy. It sounded like a bad decision. It sounded like a guy who, right. did, who didn't want to be a clown anymore. Thank but, you, and Maddie. found I, some guy to take the job. found some guy to, to, to take the job. He became the Dread Pirate There's Roberts. the essence of Boris and Bernstein right that, there. That is yeah. all. You, you, you want to know this show in a nutshell? There it is. You got a top of the hour. Hub Arkish is going to join us. We still have giveaways, too. We've got some pizza to give away from Jets, and we have a two-pack of Sport Clips <laughs> haircuts. But man, wow. Sky Point for our guy Rusty. Our guy Rusty. That, uh, he, he will always be a thing. You've got W-S-C-R the score.